Hello, Storytime friends. Happy almost New Year. Did you guys know tomorrow is New Year's Eve? Does your family have some fun plans? That's what I want to know. Do you guys watch fireworks? Do you have special treats? Do you try to stay awake until the new year? Lots of different things to do to celebrate a new year. So what year are we in right now? Did you say 2021? Which means next year would be 2022, right? Wow, I don't know how the years are going by so quickly. Do they feel like they're going by fast for you? Hmm, okay. I think maybe some wiggles. It seems like a wiggly kind of a day. At least it does to me. Do you remember the head and shoulder song? We'll finish off at the end with this new part that's about New Year, but let's try. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Here's this new part, ready? There's a new year on the way. Can you guys sing that part with me? There's a new year on the way. Let's celebrate the new year. Oh, whoops, let's try that again. Let's celebrate the year and give a cheer. You guys wanna try that with me? Let's celebrate the year and give a cheer. Hooray! There's a new year on the way. Should we try it one more time? Do you think you guys, maybe I'll do better this time. Let's see. There's a new year on the way, on the way. There's a new year on the way, on the way. Let's celebrate the year and give a cheer. Hooray! There's a new year on the way, on the way. So, People do all kinds of things to celebrate New Year. And then people do something else in the New Year. It's called a resolution. And we're gonna hear about New Year's resolutions in just a minute. But first, I thought it might be fun to just start with a winter fun story. Bear is awake. See that bear sleeping in his den. A is for awake. B is for big bear. And C is for cozy cabin. D is for doorbell, ding dong. E is for enter and excited and eek. F is for food. That's a hungry bear. G is for grumpy. I think I'd be grumpy if a bear ate all my food. How about you guys? H is for hat. I is for intrigued and idea. J is for jumpy and jeepers. And K is for kids and kaput. L is for my favorite place, the library. And listen and learn. M is for market. N is for naughty and no, 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 and nice. O is for obvious, officer, outlandish, outfit. That is an outlandish outfit. P is for pancakes, yum. Q is for quiet. 
R is for return. S is for snow and silly and stream and sulk. And T is for tree and ticklish and teeth and trail. And U is for uncertain. And V is for valley. W is for woods and wistful. X. Oh, I think she's giving him kisses. Y is for yawn. And Z is for Z's. He's sleeping. I just thought that was a cute book and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, are we ready to learn about New Year's resolutions? Let's see if you know what they are. This book is going to tell us about them. Okay, here's the front. Squirrel's New Year's resolution. Squirrel pinned up her brand new nut of the month calendar. It's January 1st, the radio said. A great day to make a resolution. Make a resolution, wondered Squirrel. How do you do that? Bear might know. She went to see Bear at the Lonewood Library. Happy New Year, he said. Same to you, Bear. Do you know how to make a resolution? Is it like making a snack? Bear laughed. Resolutions are more important than snacks. More important than snacks, said Squirrel. What is a resolution? A resolution is a promise that you make to yourself to be better or to help others, Bear said. When we begin a new year, we make a fresh start. Wow, did you make a resolution, said Squirrel. I did, Bear answered. I resolved to teach others how to read. I'm going to teach Skunk as soon as she gets well. Oh no, Skunk is still sick, Squirrel thought, as she hurried to Skunk's house for a visit. She forgot all about making a resolution. Skunk was sick of being sick. I'm stuck in bed until Dr. Owl says I'm better, said Skunk. I would rather be learning to read. That's my New Year's resolution. Squirrel knew how to cheer up her friend. She hid, hid at the foot of the bed. She popped up and shouted, Boo! Skunk giggled. Hide and Skunk was her favorite game. Squirrel popped up again. Boo! Again. Boo! By now, Skunk was laughing hard. Just then, Dr. Owl came by. Skunk, I can tell by your laughter that you are feeling much better, he said. Now you can visit Bear. Just make sure you have a healthy lunch first. Lunch! thought Squirrel. She headed toward the Heidi Hole Diner. Maybe someone there can help me with my resolution. On her way, she met Mole and Turtle. Mole was holding a map close to his nose. What are you doing, asked Squirrel. Turtle and I resolved to plant a garden, said Mole, but I can't find a good place to dig with all these trees. Wait here, said Squirrel. She dashed up an oak tree and looked down. She spied Wildcat Creek and on its bank, a perfect place for a garden. Squirrel scampered down and led Mole and Turtle through the woods to the edge of the creek. She helped them stake out the string for the borders of the garden. Thanks, Squirrel. I will start digging right after lunch, said Mole. Lunch, thought Squirrel, and she rushed away. She still hadn't thought of a resolution. At the diner, Squirrel chose a stool next to Porcupine. He looked grumpy. What's wrong, asked Squirrel. I resolve to be less grumpy, so I'm trying to laugh more, but I can't think of anything funny. I can help you think of something funny, like why did the squirrel run back and forth across the road? I don't know. Why, asked Porcupine. Because she was nuts, laughed Squirrel. Porcupine laughed too. I get it. That reminds me. What's striped and bouncy? Tell me, giggled Squirrel. Skunk on a trampoline, said Porcupine. Squirrel laughed herself right off the stool. 
Porcupine said, that's a good one. I better write these down. Off he went to find paper and pencil. Squirrel felt left out. Porcupine has a resolution. So do Bear and Skunk and Mole and Turtle, she thought. I'm the only animal in the forest who hasn't made a New Year's resolution. Rabbit came to take Squirrel's order. Would you like to try my New Year's special? asked Rabbit. Sure, said Squirrel. Maybe it will help me make a resolution. I wish I knew how. Think of a way to improve yourself or a way to use what you're good at to help others, said Rabbit. Squirrel ate her lunch, special, and she thought hard. Just then, Skunk came in. I need a healthy lunch. Thanks to Squirrel, I'm feeling better. Sit with me, Skunk, Bear called. I see you brought our first book. Turtle and Mole came in next. What do you have for two thirsty animals who just started a garden, said Mole. Squirrel found a terrific place for it said Turtle. Porcupine hurried in. Do you know why Bear said caw caw? Before anyone could answer, Porcupine said he was learning another language. All the other animals laughed. I didn't know you were so funny, said Mole. Me either, said Porcupine. Squirrel got me started. Rabbit said to Squirrel, you're doing a great job on your resolution. I didn't know I had one, said Squirrel. Your actions are better than words. It looks like you resolve to help someone every day, said Rabbit. Really, asked Squirrel. I did it. I made my very first resolution. Hooray for Squirrel, shouted all the animals. It was going to be a very happy new year. So what do you think? Resolution, a promise to make to yourself to be better or to do something to help others. Can you think of a resolution you might like to do for New Year's? I can think of a couple. I have one more fun story for you guys. It has been so icy out, right? We got rain and then it turned to ice. Have any of you tried the skating rink? That would be kind of a fun thing to check out over this holiday weekend. See if you can go ice skating. I thought maybe a story about ice might be nice. Bunnies on Ice is our next story. Okay. When you're a champion ice skater, you have to wait for the conditions to be just right. And wait. And wait. That doesn't look like ice skating weather to me. Until it's time. I tell my dad I have to eat a very big breakfast because I'm a champion ice skater. I say, when you're a champion ice skater, you have to wear a lot of clothes, but not too many. I have a lot of fans. I can spin faster than anyone. Uh-oh. I can do a figure eight with my eyes closed. I can leap into the air and land perfectly every time, just like a champion ice skater. Well, almost. When you are a champion ice skater, it's very important to have an excellent support team and drink lots of hot chocolate. And eat a balanced diet and keep your muscles loose. Get some rest and try again tomorrow. Okay, that's all the stories I have for you. But I want to do one more thing before we say goodbye for this year. 
should we practice counting down to the new year? So tomorrow night, here's what happens. People try really hard to stay up until midnight so that they can count down because at midnight, we start a brand new year, right? Should we practice counting down from 10? Can you guys count backwards? Put up your 10 fingers. Let's see. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! That was good practice. Should we try one more time? Okay, here we go. We're practicing for tomorrow in case you stay up until the new year. And even if you don't, then you're all practiced for the next day. Ready? 10 fingers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's weekend. And I'm going to see you right here next year for story time. Bye for now, friends.